Our help is in the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Good morning. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Mother of Sorrows, the day after the exaltation of the cross. So let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment and confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let us say together the second form of the Confidior, found on page 66. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say two Hail Marys. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father. We worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. All loving God, your Son and our Lord Jesus Christ was born of your Blessed Virgin Mary. As we remember the life and sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary, grant that we may not only share in her sorrows, but also in the rewards attained by the salvation promised by our Lord. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for our first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence all mankind in the presence of the Lord, for he stirs forth from his holy dwelling. This is the word of the Lord. Our response is, you are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. 
Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God, above all women on earth, and blessed be the Lord God, the Creator of heaven and earth. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon, under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert, where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips. I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Simeon came in the spirit to the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated for a moment. As I mentioned at the outset, today we celebrate the Solemnity of Our Lady of Sorrows. And it is a fairly new, <laughs> as we regard to the church, feast. It's not from the most ancient of times, but it came about in about the year uh, 1232, and then really was sealed in the church by Pope Pius VII in 1818. And what the day that this falls is not by accident when we, because yesterday we saw the Holy Cross, the instrument of earthly death for our Savior. Today we celebrate his mom and what she went through. And this solemnity can cause us to pause and maybe reflect on what it means to be the parent of the Savior. Of course, as parents, what our children go through, when they feel pain, we probably feel it seven to ten, even more times more than that. And Mary 
with all the joy she had of being the mother of Jesus, there are historically seven sorrows that she endured. The first one was the one that we heard in today's gospel, the prophecy of Simeon, where he says, you yourself a sword will pierce. And then the flight into Egypt as refugees from Israel in order to avoid the massacre of those two and under by Herod. The third one is when Mary and Joseph lost Jesus in the temple when he was about 10 years old. He ended up, ended up he was teaching the great rabbis and scholars of the day. Then after that, we move on to the Passion. And Mary meeting Jesus on the way to Calvary. How her heart must have broken that day. Followed by the crucifixion of Jesus and watching your son expire. Then Jesus being taken down from the cross and of course his burial by Joseph. So historically, those are the seven major sorrows in Mary's life that we reflect on today. And even though she knew that he was going to rise again, the pain was still there. And any parent who experiences the pain of their children, who no one can hurt you like your children, can take, maybe not solace, but a companionship in Mary, the greatest created fully human person ever, that she went through so much pain that w she knows us and our pain. And we can pray with her that that be avoided for our children so that we can also avoid that pain. So Mary, thank you for saying yes to being the mother of our Savior. And we also thank you for wilf willfully enduring the pains you did up to watching your only son die on the cross. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us now stand and turn to page 71 and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. In trust and confidence, let us join together in offering our prayers to our Father in heaven and our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Prime Bishop Anthony, Bishop Jerry, and all shepherds of the church, that they may be holy and effective in their mission to draw all people to Christ, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to war and violence, that all may cultivate the gift of God's peace and compassion in our world, we pray to the Lord, Lord. For parents of children who have left the practice of their faith, that they will not be discouraged, but continue to pray for their return and share their pain and the pain of Mary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and their caregivers, especially those on our parish prayer list, 
that the Lord may keep all under the shelter of his care, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, oh, for all the intentions we hold deep in the silence of our hearts, for all those who are impacted by the violence going on in our world today, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed and those who will die today, that they may be welcomed joyfully into eternal life, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear us. Loving Father, we need your mercy. As you answer our prayers, both spoken and unspoken, fill us with the joy that comes from hope and grant us your salvation. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who kept the word of God and reflected on it in her heart. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. May it become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. O Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept this sacrifice from my hands, the praise and glory of his name for our good, for the benefit of his holy church. Almighty God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Savior. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit and was born of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May the gifts we offer in commemoration of the Holy Mother of Sorrows be acceptable to you. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We desire in honoring the blessed and ever-Virgin Mary to praise you, bless you, and worship you. She conceived your only begotten Son by the Holy Spirit and gave birth to eternal light, our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, <coughs> of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Holy Sacrifice of the Mass continues with Eucharistic Prayer 2, which is found on page 82, if you're following along. We give thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your Son, born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. 
When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, to make a covenant, and to manifest his resurrection. He took bread. He gave you thanks and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In like manner, he took the cup and said, This is my blood, which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it. In memory of me. Together, calling then death and resurrection to mind, we offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the of their faith in the truth. So may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your Holy Church now and forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let's say together the second communion prayer found on page 98. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness, may it become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in me a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make me your willing servant, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite me entirely with you, my Lord and my God. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life.
Behold, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord. The body and blood of Christ. Please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food. May the gift I have received bring me healing and strength now and forever. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thought of many hearts may be revealed. Let us pray. Eternal and loving Father, may the holy sacraments we have shared strengthen our faith, so that we may accept the sorrows of this life, And like the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may rejoice with your Son in heaven for all eternity. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, you cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please join me now in a prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, Make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Dear okay, brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for our Holy Mass today and this week. We pray that you have a great day, great weekend. Stay safe. Take care of each other. Join us on Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time for the 25th Sunday at Ordinary Time. And always remain in a state of grace and fight evil wherever and whenever you find it. Hail, Holy Queen, enthroned above, O Maria. Hail, Queen of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumph all ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn, salve. Salve.